Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, we're going to try to understand our workflow and we'll go through the installation and setup of this workflow step by step. The goal of our workflow is to set up a system that will be able to come up with an original idea. This idea will then be turned into a video and afterwards that video will be shared on TikTok. That's why we're going to use the platform that provides us with the VO3 API. This API is capable of creating high resolution videos. And today, these are videos that get millions of views on TikTok. Thanks to these videos, as you'll see, which are generated 100% with artificial intelligence, they're achieving huge numbers. Several channels today are showcasing these. So these videos are getting millions of views. We're going to try to generate these kinds of videos using artificial intelligence and this workflow. Of course, the information will be accompanied naturally by some documentation. With this documentation, you'll find all the code that will be used in the system. And also, a short example of a video generated with VO3. So there you have it, that's the video. Here's an example of a video, and thanks to the Blotato tool, this tool will actually allow us to use a direct connection with TikTok. Every time I generate a video, it will be published automatically. All right, let's get started. We're going to begin by understanding the workflow, and above all, we're going to run it to better understand how... The first step is to come up with an original idea. So, this is the most important step. Here, we're going to use the AI agent, which will have a prompt. Now we're going to give it this prompt. This is the user prompt. Here, we're going to tell it, I'm interested in having you work on everything that comes before and after, everything that is a natural phenomenon. So as a result, the system will try to come up with an idea in a vertical format, of course, but you can obviously change all this information and give it the idea or theme you want. And the system will try to create a scenario and a script for the video. Here, I simply put in a prompt. This prompt was created by ChatGPT, and of course you can modify and change it as you wish. If I go back to my system, as soon as it finds the idea, it will uh, write it and save it in a Google Drive file. And above all, I used Google Sheets so that it records an entire new row here with information about the idea, the description to include with the video, and of course the environment, how the script will be made, and even suggestions for the sound that will accompany the video. So I'm running the system here. We're going to ask it to execute this whole part. We're going to go up to here. So we click on run. So during execution here, the system will try to call the LLM model GPT-5. So here it's searching mainly. In fact, it's looking into current trends a bit and it's going to try to find for me actually and write a script for me based on a specific original idea. So here as well, it calls on creativity. So I required the system to be creative in order to give me as much interesting information as possible. And now it's in the process of saving the information it received. So if I go check my Google Sheets file, there you go. I can see that it has just saved, in fact, the help right there. So this is a bit of the new information that has just been implemented. So once I have the idea, I can simply move on to the next step. It's this step here where we're going to use video three. In this step, we start with an AI agent. And with this agent, we simply ask it to take and comment on the information we've generated from the goal. So everything like the idea, the environment, the sound. And we actually instruct it to create a video for us using the VO3 fast model. And we even provide a system message. It's a very detailed prompt. Here, we give it all the information regarding the duration, the scenario, and the quality we're looking for. The goal of this system is to generate a title and a final prompt for me. So, the final prompt will be used somewhere on VO3 because VO3 takes a prompt as input, meaning a description. It can also take an image, but in our case, we're just going to use a description. And so it will actually create the video for me based on the description I've provided. So it's really capable of imagining and creating videos of very, very high quality. 
Once the prompt is fully prepared and ready to use here, our next step is to simply format it correctly and then we will send the result over to our application programming interface. This is actually where the work with the API happens. By using this website here, it will receive the information and give me the video, which I will download in the next step. So what we're going to do now is try to execute this step. We'll go up to this point to request. I'm executing this step. So here the system is preparing the prompt that will be adapted to launch it on VO3. So from here, of course, we're going to ask it to give me a very specific structure because the structure that VO3 will work with is going to be a very specific one. And so now it has just, let's say, placed the order on the VO3 site so that it can start creating this video. Here on the site, we can simply come here to check the log and we should find in VO3 that there is an order, let's say, that's currently being prepared. At this point, I'm going to come back here and start the waiting phase because here I'll actually need to wait about two to three minutes for the video to be prepared and ready. Once it's ready, you'll see that we can simply move on to the part where we download this video. The video creation was completed successfully. So even here at the log level, we can see the status, it's green. So what I need to do is simply try to download it. This is the very last part and it's a very important step. All I had to do was download it. Now that the file has been successfully downloaded, the next step is for me to go ahead and save it directly into my Google Sheets file. Thanks to this recording, I will have simply retrieved the URL. Here it is. So this is the URL of my video. All you have to do, of course, is click and watch the video together. So there you go, this is my video that was generated. And so for this next step, what I'm going to be doing is, of course, utilizing a very helpful application that is called Blow Atato. Thanks to this tool, I can automatically upload the video to TikTok. I'm going to use the Blue Potato node. We'll find this node here. You just need to come here and type Blue Potato. You'll find the node. There you go, check on N8N. Once I click here, at first I'll need to upload the video to Blue Potato and then either create the account on TikTok or publish on TikTok. Blue Potato, you'll find the link in the documentation. There is also all the information and support provided by Blue Potato. The strength of Blue Potato is that once you create an account, you'll be able to connect all your social networks here and as a result, it can automatically publish on all your networks for you. Right now, there are nine networks available. The one I'm interested in is TikTok. So that's why we're going to start with the first step here, which is to upload the video to Blue Potato servers. This is done quickly. Here, if I open it, I'll see that I have the video on Blue Potato's server. And finally, I add the Blue Potato post here. You'll see that here, I select the platform. For me, I'm interested in publishing on TikTok. Then, I select the account here, because with Blue Potato, I can add several TikTok accounts. Once I've selected the account, all that's left to do is click here on Run. What will happen is that the system will simply publish this video automatically on Blue Potato and then publish it on TikTok afterwards. Once the publication is complete, I can go to Blue Tato and I'll see that it gives me the history. It tells me that it was published successfully. I can click here on View actually to automatically see the video published on the network that I connected to the TikTok account. So thanks to this, we were able to publish on TikTok. So all that's left to do at the end is to update the status because here in my Google Sheets, I want to set a status indicating that it's been published. And there you have it. We've just finished setting up our entire workflow. In order to improve your overall workflow, you can simply work directly here on the print section so that it is in fact adapted to your specific needs and the particular theme you're looking to work with. And also, of course, you will use VO3 and create a Blue Tito account. Thanks to these two tools, the first one will help you create the video and the second will help you publish it. Your workflow will be ready to operate and work. Plus, with Blue Tito, you even have the option to publish on other networks as well. So it's not just TikTok. You have nine networks available. You just need to select the networks you're interested in, like Instagram or Twitter, and the system will also publish the same video directly to those.